We're Shasta and Brent Munnerlin, and we are with Kona Ice Columbia. And we've been in the business, this is our third season yes. right now. I graduated from USC. I'm a pharmacist. I went to Columbia College, and I have a degree in speech pathology. Yeah. Um, but I stayed home with the kids for the most part. And then whenever it was time for me to get back into work, um, that's when I started just kind of thinking about some other things I could be doing, where I could still stay home with the kids and, and have my own schedule. She was in uh, nursing school and uh, decided she wanted to do an mm -hmm. ice cream truck over the summer. Just for the so. weekend. I think I Google searched ice cream truck and then the cone ice truck popped up and I was like, yeah, that's awesome. The truck was beautiful. I just liked how clean it was and safe. It looked, safe. you know, a lot of the sketchy <laughs> ice cream trucks. We were yeah. looking at a lot of those first and just getting something, you know, off of you know, Craigslist or something, but they were just yeah, shady sure. looking, yeah, so. I think it was just the, the professionalism the, yeah. of Cone Ice and then the graphic design and just the all well put together. flavor wave, of course. Uh, we ended up going to um, the convention. Tony was amazing, so we were, we were sold. So, great speech, um, you know, fantastic convention. We were hooked, a lot of we fun there. We were though. sold. Yes. Yeah, so I think the first season was a learning experience, you know, we, we we tried neighborhoods and then, you know, we, we got a couple of events that were a lot of fun and then started doing some festivals. Some were great, some weren't. And you learn. And then year two, um, you know, it was a repeat of the things that were successful the year before. Of course, you pick up more business and now we're in year three and we have our second truck and we're booked. And yeah have probably more business at times than we know what to do with even with the the mini and the two trucks so it's been fantastic every year um, huge increases and enjoy what we do but yeah no, you learn you learn you know what works what doesn't work and you know the truck does not go in the sand <laughs> very well no it <laughs> or doesn't sideways on hills <laughs> <laughs> but you know you, you learn you know uh, like festival fees you don't you know you don't want to pay huge entry fees if you don't know how much you're gonna sell you know just stuff like that so yeah. you just kind of get burned a few times and you know pick up and move on and learn from it so yeah. kind of it's a business that gives back to the community so the community's grabbed onto that and they love that mm -hmm. um, so that that piece of our business is what has helped grow our business is that it's not just us running a business making money it's us running a business making money and giving back a portion of that um, to the community which has just been outstanding I think people associate around here um, Kona Ice, just the name with friendly drivers. Yeah, and I know that our, you know, our neighboring franchisees are really, you know, good with customers too. So people know that we're going to take care of them around here. I mean, sure. already, yeah. One of the things that I that one of the events that I like is um, we have a um, we have a, a drive-in movie theater. Um, that we enjoy going to and it's just fun because you get to go out and hang out with the kids and, and just a blast and then you get to, to watch the movie and, mm -hmm. and also operate kind of at the same time so it's been a lot of fun so yeah we, we that's, a, that. that's a good thing to talk about yeah too. I think it's my favorite event that we do yeah just because it's like a whole family evening away you know it's like Friday and evening, it's kind of get off work, two, two old school ideas kind of coming together yeah. you know I mean like driving movie theaters and ice cream trucks kind of like something that you know it's just family and fun yeah. and kids love it and they come along with us and That's stuff awesome. so That's and fantastic. my daughter actually she did um, a teacher event I think it was before school started and she was in the truck serving her teachers so that was really neat because she hadn't started middle school yet so and um, I do like to hire you know educators I've, I've found that that's, that's true. that works well because they're good with kids and they go through the background checks and different things too so and they have the summer off then they have the summer off and they need that the works. extra money <laughs> that's true but so. they they're good with kids like they love kids but then they can also get you know like they're not gonna let them you know hang on the flavor wave and on the back of the truck you know they're not yeah. afraid to, to you know there's like a little line there yeah yeah so we were uh we were on vacation in myrtle beach a couple years ago and um there was this shaved ice i don't know what you call it, like caddy and they were killing it and we were like there's a ton of people down here over the summer and columbia is boring in the summertime so we could we could go to Myrtle Beach, so we we got back and and made a couple calls, and next thing you know, we we changed one of our territory holds to Myrtle Beach, and uh, we're really excited about uh, the the start that we started here this year in Myrtle Beach. So, looking forward to being it's just in Myrtle kind Beach. Of something that's summer. under our nose, and we didn't really even think about it, but it's yeah. it's doable, and we can do that over the summer and have a truck there and here and and run it, and it'll be fun for everybody. 
So great. yeah. Okay. But seeing it was seeing the other shape, the you know, the competition. Yeah. <laughs> At work and killing it. Yeah. And the competition, you know. We're very competitive, so we were yeah. we were like, we could totally do this. So we're excited. Can't yeah. can't wait.